All right guys, how's it going? Today we're talking about torque steer on the VXR specifically, but it goes for pretty much most front wheel drive cars. So I'll show you the top five ways to either stop it or drastically reduce it. So I'll show you now, here we go. So one of the top things you can do is it's the tires. So if your tires are like quite old, so five years plus old and so that's, so tires is the first thing to check and or replace if you know they're old even if, like I said, even the tread was still good. Just, I think the, the side walls were a bit dodgy. Like you get um, cracking and things that just, like I say, it was drastic. The difference was night and day. And the other thing obviously were the, these lower control arms. So just see if you can see that. So this is the lower control arm here. And they have like just standard rubber bushes. And again, at with age, you should be able to see that. I'm not putting, a lot of force on this pry bar. This is only a small pry bar. There's a lot of movement in there. So those bushings in there are quite soft. And uh, a standard VXR with like 250 horsepower or even up to 300 should have little to no, no um, torque steer really. So those, you can do the upgraded uh, control arms, which is what I'm doing today. You can have play in the ball joint. So that's why the upgraded arm is handy. I'll show you. The... So this is the this is this is the upgraded lower control arm. These have got uh, white line bushings, which are way there's just a lot more, lot less play in these compared to rubber. There's a lot lot less forgiveness. They're just much stronger. So that should reduce the um, geometry train change during a load and unload. And obviously they come with a new ball joint, which makes it a, it's a really um, cost-effective way. These are, you pay 200 pound, you get a pair, so you get left and right side. So that's a big improvement from the soft rubber bushing. And the other thing to check, which is overlooked, which you might have an issue, like an undiagnosed kind of issue with the, uh, so you make sure your spring is good, because uh, these can snap the, very, the tips off on the uh, spring. So you, you and you you might not even it's still captive as well because I'll, I'll show you in a second come around here So for example The spring the spring here is still captive, you know Show my hand like it looks all right But if you give it a really if you really twist it this movement in there and you It's hard to see. I don't know if you can see it No, I can't really see it. But it does actually have a broken spring the right at the tip of the springs broken so when you that that geometry change in the when you're loading and unloading that is enough to that can cause add to, to your torque steer issues as well. Quite a bit of the actual bolts that go through the lower control arm. It pays to replace them because those bolts actually wear too. Because I've had a I've had a, a time where the lower control arm was replaced, the old bolts were used, and there was still um like play so definitely replace the bolts as well if you know they're old like these ones on this side i don't know they were like easy seven years old I'm, I'm, that's just a guess could be older so i'm changing the bolts with the control arm that's often overlooked those are the main things that that they can like they that can make your car go from like being able to launch and just relax or literally hanging on like a shopping cart like the difference is crazy I think that's it for now. Short and sweet video. Oh yeah, and also I'll show my wheels. We've got these powder coated. That's the, cause they were horrible. They were like really badly corroded white before. So powder coated black, pretty cost effective. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, see you later.